This episode is sponsored by SmartVestor. Connect with an investing pro for free at RamseySolutions.com slash invest. You're listening to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires, where we talk investing, retirement, building wealth, and outrageous generosity. Pam's in Los Angeles. Hey, Pam, welcome to the Ramsey Show. Thank you for taking my call. Sure. What's I up? Am a six, I am a 66-year-old widow in good health. The only retirement I have is property, a home, and a prop and land that I own in Nolensville, Tennessee. It's fully fully paid for. I generate um, about nineteen thousand dollars a year rental income. Uh, there's about two thousand dollars in property taxes every year. Mm-hmm. I've got people. My other income is my Social Security, which is eighteen hundred. And then I rent out two rooms in the house that I'm in in California for eleven hundred dollars a month. Um, that together brings my income to about fifty four thousand. Mm-hmm. If I sell the property, I'll lose that twenty thousand. I've got people telling me to sell and invest, sell and put it in CD. Don't sell. Mm-hmm. And what, I don't know what's what it, that's what's it worth? to do with it. What's it worth? Probably six. It was worth more before the laws changed, but it's worth say six to seven hundred thousand. Okay. And uh, the only kicker, the other thing that makes it a little tricky, my son and wife are looking to relocate either to Huntsville or Nashville in the next three to five years. Not not tricky at all. Uh, unless unless okay. it's a family, is it a family place or something? It was never a family home. My husband and I bought it and only lived there a few months before we were transferred to California. Okay. Do you have a property so management company running it? Dinner. Okay. So you're you're making a, you're making two point eight percent on your money. Okay. She doesn't charge that much, but okay. It's, you're, it's no, you're but, you're making nineteen thousand dollars on six hundred thousand. Right. That's two point eight percent. Okay. Certifiably horrible. Okay. Yeah. So yes, I think whoever told you to sell it. Um, and sit down with a quality investment advisor. If you don't have one, click smartvestor at ramseysolutions.com. We'll help you find who we endorse in your area to sit down and teach you what you could put some of this money in. But if you mm-hmm. made if you made 5% on your money, basically you would double your money. If you made 10% on your money, you would quadruple your money. And mm-hmm. somewhere between okay. 5 and 10 is what you should be making depending on mm-hmm. how much, how much you you know, what you want to put it in, in mutual funds. So I, I'm almost, mm-hmm. I'm, you know, I'm 63. If I, in my situation, meaning that the, what I'm comfortable with, I would put in my case, a hundred percent of that in mutual funds and my mutual mm-hmm. funds have averaged 10 to 15% depending on the year. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so, um, okay. and so I would be making close to a hundred thousand dollars a year where you're making 19. But now that those mutual mm-hmm. funds go up and down in value more than that property does, but whoop de doop de you're not making anything. Mm-hmm. So okay. it must be raw land, is it? And no, well, it's five acres of raw land and then a single-family house on it. Yeah, it's under-rented severely. It's a smaller house. It's under-rented yeah. severely, yeah, based on its value. Cause, uh, but okay. even then, even then, I... I you don't want a rental property in Nolansville, Tennessee, when you live in Los Angeles. So I'm going to mm-hmm. sell that and put it in mutual funds, a good mix of which you could determine after you learn a little bit more about it. But sit down with a good investment advisor, at, at a smart investor, if you don't have one. They'll help you do it. They'll show you what to do, but teach you what you're doing, and then you can make that decision. You may have some taxes on this as well when you sell it. You need to set that aside. But you will have some taxes, but depending on how long – You've had it. Sounds like you've had it a long time, so you may have substantial capital gains, but still, you're going to come out ahead. Yeah, you're just you can't. You, you're pinching every penny because you're only making two percent on your money. Yeah, and a lot of people, Dave, are fooling with real estate, and then we ask them, "Hey, what are you making on this thing?" Well, five hundred bucks a month, thousand bucks a month. I'm like, ten grand a year. That's not life changing money comparatively to if you just didn't fool with the real estate and invested it. Yeah. And you could make returns that are much greater than that. Yeah. So that's what we're talking about here. If you're going to go through the hassle of real estate, I love real estate, but you should make more on it than the stock market's paying. So if the stock market's averaging 10 to 12%, you ought to make more than that on your real estate, all things included. I mean, including the value increases and other things, 
But if you're going to screw around with renters and deal with, you know, air conditioners breaking and all that stuff, then, you know, you would want to make more for the hassle factor than you would make just putting in a mutual fund and forget it. So, Especially um, long distance. That's always a nerve-wracking situation when yeah. you're across the country. There's nothing in this property for you, Pam, that sounds fun to me. Sounds like a good thing to be out of. Thanks for listening to Ramsey Everyday Millionaires. Need help with your investments? Connect with a SmartVestor Pro at RamseySolutions.com slash invest or click the link in the show notes. Ramsey Solutions is a paid non-client promoter of participating pros. Learn more at RamseySolutions.com slash SmartVestor.